famous, what they call me. What it do, what it do, man, BY3 the hallway. Y'all make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Live from 85, back at it again, man, the realest one on the net, boss talk of business. <clears throat> happy Christmas Eve. I want to wish happy holidays to everybody, happy new year, all that, man. Be safe, be responsible. Now, I got some bad news to report, man. We got three-time super lightweight champ. Frankie Randall, he just passed. Now, Frankie Randall, he was born in, I want to say, okay, Morristown, Tennessee. And he passed at an assisted living facility from pugilistic dementia and Parkinson's disease. He was 59. Now, before I get into that, man, y'all probably like, man, who is that? I've heard of him before, but I just can't get him up. And if you can't get him up, then you're just not a boxing fan. You know, and it's it's cool. It's cool. Everybody ain't, but I am. So let me let me let me tell y'all who Frankie Randall is so y'all can put some respect on Frankie Randall's name. Cause I got a clip for you. Frankie Randall is the only person, the only person that gave Julio Cesar Chavez his first L. Julio Cesar Chavez is probably one of the best Mexican fighters that there ever was. At the time when him and Frankie Randall fought, he was 90 and 0. 90. 90 wins, no losses. Let me tell you how good Julio is. Julio, was. this was his 13th defense. It might have been his 12th. I'm not sure. It was either his 12th or 13th defense when he fought Frankie Randall. And who did Julio Cesar Chavez beat for the belt? None other than the great Roger Mayweather. R.I.P. So he was 90 and 0 when he came into this fight. He see Frankie Randall. And I'm finna show y'all what happened when he met Frankie Randall. Put some respect on my boy's name. Knock that boy down, caught him with that right, over with, over with. You hear him say, "Oh, he might well kiss the belt goodbye." That's who Frankie Randall is. Now, like I say, three time super lightweight champion, five time Golden Glove champion, silver medal at the nineteen eighty Olympic trials. Hey man, do with the truth, man. And like I said, man, he passed from pugilistic dementia and Parkinson's disease. Now, if y'all don't know, that's like Parkinson's disease is what Muhammad Ali passed of. You know, pugilistic, you know, that's fighters, that, that's a fighter's disease, you might as well say. Too many blows to the head is mostly associated with boxing. So, for anybody out there that wants to be a boxer, you know, this is the part that they don't show you now. It's a lot of glitz and glamour. You're going to have the women. You're going to have the belts. You're going to have the fame, the clout, and all that. But it, it takes a lot to be a boxer. You got to train. Training is, is hell from what I heard. You got men like, like Zab Judy and Mike Tyson say, everybody want to be a fighter and everybody got a plan until you get punched in the face. Real talk. And this is the side that people need to watch also. 
because this happens to a lot of boxers and people don't talk about it. He passed at 59, man. That's that's an early age. That's an early age. And you got fighters like Floyd Mayweather that I always tell you that the object of the game is to not get hit. You want to make it to see old age. And, man, like I say, he passed at assisted living. Assisted living in Morristown, Tennessee at 59, man. My condolences go out to him and his family. You're great. Gone, but would never be forgotten. Not by me. You can believe that, man. Because like I said, I'm a boxing fan. So, hey, man, you got your flowers from me. BY3 the hard way. Y'all make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good. I'm going to hit y'all another video real soon, man. Till then, me and hold up for you. Do what you probably do not what you want to do. I'm out.